I'm now going to go through the answers. So, circle which one uh, there was. Well, there was a trill in it partway through. Go back and listen if you didn't hear. It wasn't a modern. The melody was played by clarinet, flute, or bassoon. Well, it was high pitch and it wasn't a clarinet, it was the flute. Was it short and detached or was it smooth? Legato, was it staccato? Was it legato? Well, it was legato. It was very smooth. Was there a piano accompaniment or a harpsichord accompaniment? Well, it was a harpsichord accompaniment. And that was that kind of like, it sounds a bit like a guitar. It's a bit twangy. It sounds like strings are being plucked. And that is how you know it's a harpsichord. Okay, chord and response imitation of chromatic scales. I heard imitation between the cello and the flute. We're just going to go back to the musical extract to listen in case you didn't hear it. Listen to that imitation in case you didn't hear it. Was the imitation between the flute and the cello. The cello played something and then the flute played it straight back. Mainly disjunct or mainly conjunct? Well, it starts very disjunct. <laughs> you know that it's just junk because it's using the minor triad, the minor chord. Notice imitation here. We've established that. It's a sequence, it's a pattern. Um, sequence, a descending sequence in the cello. So that was our uh, sequence that we just heard. Is it mainly monophonic, mainly homophonic, or mainly polyphonic? Well, it's a bit difficult, this one, because it does start off homophonic and then it does have that homophonic section where there's imitation in. So, I think I'm going to go mainly homophonic. I'm going to change the colour here just to show you that actually it's a bit of a trick question because it's kind of got quite a polyphonic section part way through. So then we're thinking about the cadence at the end. Um, and as I said, the cadences are usually at the end, so musical full stops. That was a perfect cadence. Perfect cadence, you can always tell because it sounds very final. So was this mainly fortissimo, which is very loud, mainly forte, which is loud, or mainly moderately piano, which is medium quiet? I would have said it's medium quiet. Is it syncopated, off beat, or on the beat? It was on the beat. And what a really big clue um, is the accompaniment. Now, were there mainly crutchets in the cello, minims in the cello, or quavers in the cello? It was crutchets. There were some quavers in the cello at some point, but mainly there was this kind of crutchet rhythm. If you're not sure, just go back and listen again. And <clears throat> in a major key or a minor key, it's it was in a minor key. Don't worry, I will help you more with listening to cadences and working out keys. But minor key, lots of people say that you know it's a minor key because it sounds sad.
Okay, the extension answers. If you haven't tried the extension, feel free to skip ahead or feel free to watch if you think it's going to help you. Okay. Describe how the following musical elements are used as extract, sonority, and instruments. Well, Flute plays legato melody. Legato is part of sonority, and it's mentioned in the flute. Plays a plays legato melody. There's a basso continuo, which is one of those things uh, that is just very um, redolent, typical of the Baroque music. A basso continuum, which means that cello playing a bass line across the harpsichord playing the chords. And I would say the harpsichord is playing a Oral accompaniment. Okay. Next, texture and instrumentation. We've always talked already talked a bit about the texture, so the start is homophonic melody and the complement. Then uh there is a section where there's imitation in the cello. And some of the instrumentation points we can take from here, but I would say, if it was a question about texture and instrumentation, I would say, Basso continuo plays the accompaniment while the flute plays the main melody in the garden. Okay. Task three. Practice exam sentences. So we're describing how the following musical elements are used in the previous extract dynamics and tempo and melodic devices and pitch. Well, it's the exact same extract we just listened to, thinking about the dynamics and the tempo. Then we want to think about what period we think this was composed in. Was it Baroque? classical or romantic, and we need to give a reason. This is a really common exam question. So let's look at the answers. If you're not ready, please pause and finish your answers. Okay, dynamics and tempo. I would say this is MP, moderately quiet. I'll put that. It kind of stays quiet really for the rest of the extract. Let's do tempo. So I think it, the tempo stays the same. 
is well it's very slow isn't it you could call this if you wanted to use an Italian term which I would recommend learning for exam andante which is a walking pace right. let's answer melodic devices and pitch so let's describe these so what was going on in this extract well we can use our answers that we've already given here Now we know there's trills, we know that there's imitation, the sequence, and that it's disjunct. So all it starts is disjunct. There is a trill. Way through the extract, there is a descending sequence in the cello and in the flute. See how I'm being specific? I'm not just saying sequence, I'm saying descending sequence. And I'm also saying which instruments it is in. You could probably put the information about there being imitation. Okay. Answers here. Well. This is Baroque music and the big giveaway is that harpsichord and the basso continuo, which is the harpsichord and the cello accompaniment together. So I would say because there is a basso continuo, which is common in the Baroque period, so harpsichord. Great. Now I'll try the exit ticket. So go to the YouTube link and tick the musical features, then describe the melodic devices and pitch in the extract. Don't just list instruments and then hand that in to me. Okay. Well done, everyone. Thank you.